Hi, I'm Salman and today's video is about the brand new Relight effect in DaVinci Resolve 18.5. Now, DaVinci 18.5 came up with a lot of improvements and features, but this one is something that caught my attention. The thing that makes Relight effect so special is that it enables you to virtually relight a certain scene uh, using the depth data. So this means that you also are going to get the corresponding shadows when you add a certain light to your scene or to your characters. And as soon as I came to know how to use Use this effect i wanted to share it with my subscribers so let's jump into the color page of resolve and let me show you how to use this effect so i have these two clips here in the timeline and let's just use them to demonstrate the relighting effect let's go to the color page so i've already done some basic corrections in here and let me just name it so that we stay organized so in order to use the relight effect, we need to create a surface map based on the footage. And then based on that surface map, we're going to use the relight effect. So I'm going to create a new node and I'm going to go to effects and search for relight. And just drag and drop that onto the new node. Then just select output surface map and create a new node. And I'm going to name this node surface map. Let's just rename this as relight. And just drag and drop the relight effect onto the next node as well. Once you have done that, you need to organize it in a way that it works. So for that, I'm going to just add in the input from the first primaries into the relight main input. And now add the output of the surface node into the second green input of the relight node. After that, select relight node and in the surface map, select use input 2. And now you have it all set to work with the light. And now we can choose which kind of a light do we want for this scene. So we can select directional light for this scene because it is going to imitate a more natural behavior. Now you can just move this light around and it's going to show you different uh, positions according to where you move it. And you can see how well it is doing the job uh, according to the depth map that it has created. All right, so let's just leave the light somewhere over here. And now we can go to the light properties and we can increase or decrease the brightness of the light. We can increase the contrast of it and we can even add some glossiness and we can, you know, add the softness to the shadows, how the light is traveling to the shadows. All right. So all these things are actually, you know, dependent on your aesthetic choices. So definitely you can just try them around and you can think of the best thing that suits your shot. You can also change the position of the light using the X and Y controls if you want to be precise. And once you're happy with how the light is falling on the subject, uh, you can just select this free lighting map preview off. And now to introduce light in the selected region, you can just go to the color wheels and you can perhaps increase the gain a little bit and you can increase the gamma. And let's just get rid of this overlay. Just turn this off. And now you can also introduce color in the light that you have created. So let's say we wanted to give it a warm color. So just move the slider towards warm and just have a look at the shadows that this light is creating. So you can see clearly a shadow somewhere over here just behind this plant pot. And if I turn it off and on, you can see that. Now, I know that I'm going for an extreme and exaggerated look when it comes to relighting the scene, but definitely you can do something that suits your aesthetic and you can do uh, just subtle adjustments so that it looks natural. So let's try spotlight option on the other shot. And I've already done some primary grading in here and I'm going to do the same that we did in the previous shot. Uh, so let me just speed up the video. And now let's select spotlight for this specific shot. Now let's adjust it so that it is just falling on her face. Just like that. Now you can play around with the brightness and you can also play around with the reach. How much is it reaching out? You can play around with the contrast and the glossiness as well, which you can see that it is going to give you the bright portions just like that. But I'm going to leave it to the default. And there are two more controls in the spotlight, which are the beam angle, which is this, which you can reduce uh, to your liking and the edge hardness. So if it is like this, it's going to be hard. If it is like this, it's going to be much softer. So I'm going to put it over there and let's just turn off the relighting map preview. And now let's just turn off this overlay. 
And what we can do is that we can go to the primaries and the same thing, we can introduce some gain. So we can just pull up the gain a little bit more, just like that. And we can introduce some more gamma as well, just like this. And perhaps we can also change the color of the light that is coming in. So we're going to adjust that with this. Let's move it towards, uh, you know, say, and just like that. I think let's just, just make it a little warm because that is something that is my personal choice. So now that we have it, we can just increase the beam angle a little bit, just like this. Let's see the before and after. What you can do now is that you can also combine this effect with the power windows. So just go to the power windows and drop in a power window just like this. You can just increase and decrease the size of the power windows or the softness just like that. And you can just be selective about where you want that light to fall. And I think this is something that gives you much more power while using this effect. And now you can see the before and after. One thing that I've noticed about using this effect is that this effect is kind of too laggy right now. Uh, you know, it takes up a lot of time when we are doing stuff and the adjustments that we are making, they are quite slow to show up. Perhaps because of the public beta version that has just come out and perhaps in the future they would have better updates which are going to make this effect work faster. I hope you liked the video. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. Uh, give me a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. And I will see you in the next video.